Guys, if you're anything like me, you love the TV show The Peaky Blinders. If you look at the main character, Tommy Shelby, not only is he smart and charismatic, but he has a killer sense of style. So today, it's time for a style challenge. I'm going to show you how to dress like a Peaky Blinder. So to start, let's cover the clothes you'll need. The Peaky Blinders want to project power and authority, so you'll almost always see the characters dressed to the nines. Not only is their everyday uniform a suit, but most often it's a three-piece suit, which was a popular style in the 1920s. You'll typically see them made from a heavier tweed wool, which is perfect for the colder English weather. For my look, I went with a grey three-piece suit in a striped pattern, but since I don't live in England, I went for a lighter weight wool that better fits my environment. As well, the Peaky Blinders often wear wool overcoats, typically in a dark color. So I selected a black double-breasted overcoat with a peak lapel. Now to go with that overcoat, I also have a pair of dark leather gloves. Next is a white dress shirt, though I decided to go with a modern spread collar instead of the tab collar often seen in the show. That particular style is pretty dated. You won't see it often in modern clothing. Now the Peaky Blinders wouldn't be the Peaky Blinders without the most iconic part of their look, which is the newsboy cap. I skipped the razor blades of mine, I'm not trying to get arrested. Often you'll see the Peaky Blinders wearing neckties, usually with an accessory like a tie bar. But sometimes you will see them skip the necktie with a suit, which was an unusual look for the time. It's a great little detail that shows that they're happy to break the rules. Now for footwear, I have a couple of different options. For the city, I selected a pair of classic black oxfords. Now the Peaky Blinders spent a lot of time in the country, or in a city like Birmingham, which is dirty and muddy. So back then it wasn't uncommon to wear dress boots instead of shoes. So because of that, I also grabbed a pair of sturdy leather boots. Now in the show, they pretty much only use pocket watches. The wristwatch was still new at that point, coming out of World War I, and hadn't become mainstream yet. Technically, I should have a pocket watch to be accurate, but honestly, I think that's a little over the top in modern times, so I'm going to go with a sleek dress watch instead. Do you disagree? Fight me. Not fighting. If you want to look like a Peaky Blinder, not only is it important to get the clothing right, but you also have to nail the grooming as well. They stick with a close cropped haircut, with the sides almost shaved, with longer hair on top. And except for Arthur, they mostly skip facial hair. The clean shaven look was popular during that time period. So my current hairstyle and beard aren't going to cut it. To get the haircut right, take a pair of clippers and put on a half guard. From there, just run the clippers up the side, ending at the longer hair on top. I try to find where my side part is and carefully trim everything below that line. The self cut is tricky, gotta use two mirrors for the back. Go over the sides and back of the hair a couple of times to make sure you didn't miss any spots. After that, take trimming shears and go to work on the top. It's been about 6 weeks since I've had a haircut, so I'm going to take off a little less than an inch. Compared to many modern haircuts, you notice that this style isn't tapered at all. It's one length all the way up the sides, and is very disconnected from the top. Next up is tackling the facial hair, so I go ahead and use those same clippers to take it to a length that will be easier to shave. I was almost tempted to keep the mustache like Arthur does. It makes me feel like an old timey boxer. Ultimately, I decided to shave it, as that's a more common look for the period. Alright gents, whether you're using an electric, safety, or cartridge razor, consider using an aftershave ball. Applying this after you shave helps to cool the skin and prevent redness. Now gents, the grooming products you see in today's video brought to you by Vitaman. And instead of me telling you how awesome they are, how about I put a link down in the description of today's video so you can try them for free. Seriously gents, use that link in the description to grab a sample kit over at Vitaman for free. Now if you're going to shave to look like a Peaky Blinder, you better use the right tools for the job. Definitely have to go old school with a safety razor and a shave brush. Use a hot damp towel to soften up the hairs, then stir up a nice rich shave lather. Use the brush to evenly apply it to your face, working around all the hairs. Then take the razor and start shaving, working in small sections. Be sure to rinse the razor after every few strokes to prevent it from clogging. Once done, wipe away any remaining lather and check for missed spots. You can always go back with more lather and shave again if needed. Finally, it's time for an aftershave. Now an old school aftershave is great for cleaning cuts, but being alcohol based, it can dry out the skin and can be a bit painful to apply. So I'm going to cheat and go with a modern aftershave balm, which will both sterilize cuts and soothe the skin. For styling, Tommy wears his hair in a more tousled look, while Arthur and John go for a more formal slicked down look. For Tommy's look, use a hair cream with a light hold. I do like this slicked down look, so I'm going to go with a pomade instead. I'm going to wet the hair, emulsify a bit of that pomade in my hand, then spread it evenly throughout the hair, before combing it to my desired look.
Now the next question is, who's more stylish, John Wick or James Bond? Well guys, click on this video right here to find out.